It's time for me to build your farm. And this time, we're on Simple Midwest. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me in the next round of I Build Your Farm. That's right, we're doing it again. And I'm so happy and thankful for everyone that has sent me pictures, stories, videos of your family farms. And the concept of this is really quite simple. You send me pictures of your farm along with a description to withthestovers at gmail.com. I'll put that farm into a hat, I'll pull it out, we'll do one of these about every week. I said I'd do like one or two a month. Well, it's really fun, so I'm doing more than that. Now this go around, I've mixed it up a little bit. You see, I usually build these on no man's land and I've got a lot of questions. Well, why do you use no man's land so much? It's just a great map, but this particular build, I think I wanted to try something new. And for that, we're using Simple Midwest 4X. Now, this is the Mac and PC version of Simple Midwest 4X. You can get an all-platform version. It's a standard size map right from the in-game mod hub. So this build is really going to be something that you could do yourself. And the person that submitted this farm, friend of the channel, Farmer C21, well, we're in Lake Mills, Wisconsin, and this is going to be his family's dairy farm. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pictures that Farmer C21 sent me, as well as some of the uh, Google aerial images that I'll be using. So you know how it goes. This field is going to turn into this. Okay, in the upper left-hand corner, I have a picture of the farm up, and I am going to be kind of referencing going back and forth between uh, another screen that I have open uh, and the game editor. Remember, we're in the game editor. You can do this. Uh, so bear with me as I jump back and forth between things. We're doing this live together. So first and foremost, we're going to focus on this lower left-hand corner of the map. I want to get the houses in here. I want to try to get some of the framing uh, of the large items in first. So houses, uh, and then the cow barns, and we've got the fields here, fortunately, so I don't have to go in and do any type of, uh, planting or field work. Let's grab some grass, and, you know, it does not matter if you, you have crops in the ground. You can paint right over those in farm sim, no issues whatsoever. It just gets rid of that areable layer and it puts down whatever you're painting on top of it. And remember with this, I'm not going to be like pixel perfect accurate. Uh, it would be so difficult to do that, but we're going to try very hard. Um, I think this particular area on Simple Midwest really does this part of... Uh, Wisconsin justice, I kind of, I mean, it may be missing a little bit of rolling hills for this area and trees. I definitely missing some trees, but we'll put those in ourselves. 
Okay, let's see here. We're going to put a house right about, and I'm just going to mark it on the map with this. We're going to put a driveway to a house about right here. And we're going to put another entryway to this house over here. There's two homes. There's really three, and we'll try to get all three of them in there. But I'm going to put the th second entryway maybe about right here. And I'm probably going to have to grab my grass, and we're going to have to expand this out a little bit. Uh, because I've got, again, this third home down here. Farmer C21, again, I hope I'm doing this justice for you. Uh, you are welcome to comment uh, in the description or in the comment section uh, if I'm even close uh, to what your farm uh, should look like. So there's the third home, and then over here, I'm going to throw down... Now, here's one thing to note. Being in Simple Midwest, I don't have all of my usual um, uh, ground coverings. So that was the really nice thing about um, No Man's Land, is Alien Jim provided so many additional uh, ground covering paintings, paintable textures... I don't have those here. Now, when I get my mat, or excuse me, when I get my PC, I'm working on it. I'm working on getting a PC. And I can finally get into the game and actually properly save things and make maps. Well, then that wouldn't be a problem. But for now, it, it kind of is. I've got a very limited palette of uh, actual uh, uh, ground covering that I can use. Okay, I'm happy there. Let's put some houses down. So the first house... To me, if I come into buildings and I go into farmhouses, it feels like this house right here. And then we'll spin it. And we're going to go ahead and drop it down right about there. Now this house over here, I'm going to try and find something that will work and I think I might even need to go into my productions uh, generators and in here we have, no it's, where is it? Uh, it should be generators it should be, yeah they're right here they are homes that you can rent, so rental houses but whomever made this mod really gave us a uh, some nice extra, you know, different looking homes. And I think this is going to work pretty well. So we're going to put this second house. And I feel like I even, I need to bring it down a little bit. I need to bring it down just a touch. I need to come into uh, some of the corn here and put that right there. And don't worry, it's sitting in a cornfield. We'll fix that. We'll give some painting. And we'll do this. Okay, now there's this third house that is way down here. And I feel like I might need to... Again, I'm just... I'm chopping up my crop, but that's okay. We'll do that. And I didn't actually look at the Google Earth view for this house. And I don't want to go in and pull it back up. So we're just going to find something in buildings that will work. Uh, let's see here. Farmhouses. Let's put a simple house in. Hmm. I might need to go back into productions generators. Find a house in here that works. It's a little big. Garage is on the wrong side. Uh, maybe a little big, but the garage is on the right side, so let's go with it. So let's put this house about right there. Okay. Excellent. Now, we need to... We need to put grass in. So, I'm, again, focus on this is going to be the, the living area, so the residential space, 
Um, and then we're going to move into the barns uh, and animal pens. So decorations. Let's come into, excuse me, landscaping, painting. We're going to go ahead and put grass down. And this does have a bit of a backyard. And, you know, again, if you're looking at this on Google Earth, we're in this type of arrangement. So I'm looking down like this. This kind of does a... Kind of has a bit of a arch to it right here. Because this goes out into that field, and we've got a path that takes you out to the slurry pool, which is a massive, massive slurry pond out back. That goes about there, and backyard, maybe about here. And realistically, this kind of keeps going going all the way down to there and then over here we have an equally large kind of backyard area like this with a couple barns and then a driveway that follows kind of right in here like this. And then everything else is pretty much field for the most part. And I might just make this a little touch bigger. Now, one thing to note on this, I used Easy Dev to actually plant this corn. These are actual fields. It's one very large difference about uh, Simple Midwest or some other maps that are not No Man's Land. No Man's Land uh, and Western Wilds, which are both Alien Gym maps, they don't have any pre-built fields on them. You've got to just buy plots of land, and then you go in and you put your fields in. Here, there are fields, so I can actually go into Easy Dev and I can create, um, you know, very, very easily if I want to put any type of crop in the ground. I can choose which growth state that it's in. Uh, but once you actually cut into the land, so I'm not got a house on it, if I were to go back in and try and use Easy Dev to change this field state, it would simply blow out everything that I have done here. So you got to be careful. You kind of, you kind of want to get your, get your crops in first and then plan where you're going to put your homes, your buildings, uh, after. So there's that driveway. And then this secondary driveway, there's some vegetation here. This kind of comes in sideways. So I'm going to come, and I'm going to use, I think it's going to probably be the best color. I'm going to use asphalt for this. Again, I would traditionally use, I guess I could use gravel for this. I just, I don't have a ton of gravel textures uh, in this map. So I'm going to come in here. That might be just a little too wide for what that is in real life. But it is coming in at a slight angle. Just like that. And it does look like crops go all the way up to the edge. However, because there's really no good way to do that in Farm Sim, I'm going to go ahead and just throw a patch of grass right here. Again, the picture that we're seeing on Google Earth 
Well, it's it you know it's showing. I think this has already been. It's nothing's planted. Uh, then you go into you know street view and you actually see. Well, yeah, they've got corn in the ground. So we're gonna do that. I still do have all of my um, uh, textures for grass, interestingly enough, because those came as a basically a drop-in mod. I got those from the Maze Plus Discord server, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I might not have all the paintable textures, but I still have all of this. Now they're slightly different than what I've been using in um, No Man's Land. I don't know why, like that is not what I was using in No Man's Land. Like that particular paintbrush did not equal that in No Man's Land. <laughs> I have no clue why. Um, but I still do have, you know, I have that for my uh, Number one growth state grass, uh, and I've got, you know, that's the same. There's some high, there's some middle. What else do I have? Let's see if it actually works. That is working just fine. So again, I've, I've got different textures of grass, which will work. I'm going to use mainly meadow grass uh, for this particular area, though. And you'll notice one big difference as well is the, the, the crops actually do go up to the road. And there is a bit of a gully um, for water um, that is there. Oh, you know what I just noticed? That meadow grass and this grass is two completely different things. Interesting. Well, that's okay. Because I, I think I've actually got, as we were just talking, I am... That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Hmm. Let's see what we've got here. Middle. That's not it. Maybe I don't have that particular paintable grass. Oh, yep. There we go. There it is. So I do have it. And I think, for the most part, it's meadow grass. It just doesn't have any of the wildflowers in it. Now, I've done something different than what I typically do in these builds. If you go back and look at some of them, I usually, like, I paint all my grass ahead of time. Um, I have not done this here because, again, we had to put the housing, the houses down first. And I do want to go in, it looks like this is very highly manicured grass out front. So I'm going to see if that doesn't work, but that does. So let's use this. Very nicely cut and striped grass out here with trees. Still would love at some point to figure out a way and I thought about how it could maybe be done and if you're a modder out there again you guys are far more intelligent than I am in this I want stripes I want to be able to put down proper stripes in a yard and the only way I thought that that could happen is if you changed the contrast so you, you took a grass um, layer, like what I'm putting down right now, and you duplicated it, but you changed the contrast or some um, graphical like color of the item to be darker or lighter, and then I could come in here and I could paint. So like one way would be the lighter color, and then I could change it, and the other way would be well in this case that was darker on the left, lighter on the right, but you can see those are two completely different types of grass. I, I have no clue if that would work. I feel like it would, and you could actually then at least paint um, lawn stripes. Would be a whole different ball game if you could actually mow lawn stripes, but I have no clue how you would do that.
And you know what else else is I did for I did remember the clock. The clock is ticking. So we're 19 minutes into this. Again, we give ourselves or we give myself 60 minutes. I've yet to do one of these properly in 60 minutes though, so bear with me. We don't want farmer C21's family farm uh not to be successful. So we're gonna we're gonna get it done regardless. And again, we're working, if you look on the map, we're in, we're working on the, the kind of the residential area right now. We're getting uh, the grass, the nice manicured grass area done. And we're on Simple Midwest, uh, 4X version. There is an all platform regular version of the map available. But everything we've done so far in here, you could do uh, all platform. So it does not matter if you're on Mac or PC or you're on PlayStation or Xbox. Everything we've done so far, other than easy dev and, you know, changing the field state, you could do this. And again, I encourage you to try it. I've talked with so many folks that they say they just don't have the skill to make maps or edit you know, existing maps in the game. And I say, what the heck? Just go for it. The more you do it, you'll have fun. You'll enjoy it. This game is like three games in one. You know, it's actual farm sim, but then it's also the map editor. And then it's all the equipment, like the entire financial system of owning and operating equipment. Give it a shot. Don't feel like you have to wait. Uh, for a map to come out that has, you know, a farm like yours on it, just build your own. Give it a shot. And you can always improve on it. You might not be able to sit down, you know, in one sitting and make your family farm. But, you know, over the course of a couple of days or weeks, I think you'd be surprised. And one thing we have not heard anything about yet in 25 is what the map editor is going to look like. I have no clue. I really, really don't. Um, as I'm seeing more screen grabs, videos, I am getting excited. Excited enough that I'm actually, I have a cart already built with a proper PC. I know. I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, I haven't actually hit buy yet. But we're really, really, really close. Um, it's AMD based. You know, I was, had a, a couple of people comment on my last live stream on, you know, what is a recommended system that, that doesn't break the bank. And in my particular case, it would be AMD based. Looking at the Ryzen 5 uh, 7600X uh, CPU with a 7900 XT or a 7900GRE graphics card. Because here's the thing. I know that's overkill for farm sim. At least I think it is. I kind of want to play some Assetto Corsa too. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I think, I think, uh, I, the cart is, is full, I just, I have to hit send or submit, we'll see. Drop info down, you know, again, I'm always open for, uh, suggestions and comments, what would you build right now? You know, it's July 7th, July 6th, 2024, you're building a brand new PC, what are you building? Money is an object, so it, again, money is not like an unlim unlimited funds. But what would you build? What would you do? I'd love to know. All right. We're, we're almost there with this. We do need to put down some trees. Um, we'll need to put down the barns, and we'll need to put down some of the vehicles that I've seen for, again, the residential side of the house, uh, the farm. Then we'll shift over to um, 
the barns. So there's that. And I'm going to need to come in. This particular house, I forgot. It... It has, it doesn't have a basement. It makes it look like it has a basement. So I'm gonna go into landscaping, sculpting, just smoothing. And I'm gonna smooth this out. And you can see in this particular farm build, money is no object, like no worries. We've got hundreds of millions of dollars. Wouldn't that be nice if I had hundreds of millions of dollars I guess I'd just have someone build me a computer um, and, like, say, put whatever the heck you want in it. But that is definitely not the case for the Stovers. Okay. There we go. And then this particular driveway, again, I'm going to use uh, concrete or asphalt for this. It should be gravel, I know. I just don't have... Um, I don't have the gravel... Um, styles uh, that I need. Or that I've had in No Man's Land. And that saddens me. And you'll probably laugh. I'm sure there's a way to add additional, um, you know, paintable textures into a map. I just, I don't know how to do it. I don't. And I think it's also, I've, you know, I've tried to edit XMLs on a Mac. And so many times I end up failing because, like, they just don't save properly the game. For whatever reason, the Mac architecture, when I save a zip file... It just does not... The game doesn't see it. The game doesn't recognize it. Okay, so we've got that. Now over here, I'm gonna grab, I am gonna grab gravel here, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start making this road. You know what I should do? So I should go ahead and just make, because this is gonna be dirt, and it's gonna be a building in here. I get nervous on these because, you know, we I've, I've done so many builds, uh, and I've been very fortunate, knock on wood, my desk is wood, uh, that I haven't had a power failure or a crash or anything, which does remind me, let's save while we're at it. Save often, folks. Very, very important. Uh, and yeah, we can take a look. So while, since it saved, it took us out of the... Uh, of the game editor and you can see where we're at i think i think the dimensions are pretty close here to real life so i'm happy with that we've got to get trees in but i want to i want to get this um i want to get this road figured out painting come back into gravel So this road, it's about right there. And it kind of does this. And then this kind of does this. This is almost... 
you know, one nice thing about Midwestern maps, you know, we are in Wisconsin, this particular area, it's pretty flat. That is another reason why I used uh, Simple Midwest. All right, that comes kind of like that. Now this... So, I mean, we've got so much we need to put, we need to get rid of more field area here. And I'm, I'm just, I'm being cognizant. I don't want to get rid of too much too quickly. Um, because I can't go back in and easily uh, use easy dev to uh, plant more corn. If I did, it would just, it would pop up everywhere I've done all these edits, and that would not be good. And if you're jumping around on this, totally fine. You are welcome to do whatever you want on these builds. Um, you know, maybe you're just interested in the first part, or you want to see the ending. Completely up to you, but if you're new to the channel, you're hopping on right now, what the heck am I doing? Well, I'm building your farm, so I thought it would be really interesting uh, to hear about farmers and friends of the channel and their family story, what their farm looks like in real life. Um, and you can send me pictures of your farm. You can send me a story of your farm. You can just send me an address, and I'll try to give it you know, my best shot. But the more information you can send me, the better. Uh, and I will put your name in a hat and I will pull it out and I will do about one of these a week uh, and throw it up on the channel. I think it's really, really fun. Uh, and again, it showcases, uh, you know, people's farms. We are in um, Wisconsin right now. In fact, we are in, where are we? I forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot the town that we're in. Forgive me, Farmer C21. We are in... Where the heck are we? We are in... Oh, come on. Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Again, Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Uh, and we are building the farm that you see on the screen. It is a dairy farm. Let's put some trees in. So I'm gonna actually come out of, um, and I've I've got a I've got a screen open to my left. You can't see it, but I've I've got an area where I can kind of see the uh, the house uh, and the farm, the street view, so that I can just be a little more accurate. Uh, and I am going back and forth on uh, my map editor. So we do have. Uh, on the house, we've got some decorative, um, let's go into landscaping, painting, let's put um, just some, you know, decorations, some plants, some flowers around the front of the house. In fact, this kind of butts all the way up to the driveway, and I don't have a good view all the way around the house, but... For the most part, I typically just put kind of a mulch bed around houses uh, and then sometimes put, you know, just flowers here and there. So there's that. And there is a really cool, um, and I'll see if, I can, if I've got it in this particular save game, a... Uh, some rocks that are going to go in front of the house. So let's see if I go into decorations. Other, I know I've got them in here. I just have to find them. And remember, the clock is ticking. So we have, I mean, unofficially given myself 60 minutes to complete these. When have I ever done that, though? That's a, the question. Uh, I don't... 
I feel like we're going to have to go with one of these instead. This is not completely accurate, but I think it will work for this build. So we're going to go ahead and drop these in here. Uh, and you're going to see why these get a little difficult to work with, because if you change the terrain, in this particular instance, the house has a bit of a terrain change to it. Um, although you can stack them, so yeah, let's do that. We're going to stack these. To try to get them to be level. Turn. I've got the, um, modified construction camera view turned on and I don't know how I like it. It lets you get really, really close in some areas. Um, but like sometimes it's just, it's very jerky and I don't love it. So let's do this. Now again, I'm going to try and level this out. These are kind of bricks on the real house. Uh, I really, really don't like that at all. In fact, I think that's done more damage. <laughs> like, it was kind of working, but this stupid house that I put down... Um, Changing the terrain on me just messed up what I was trying to do. And I'd rather just def accept the feet on that right now than try and go any further and continue to mess up Farmer C's family home. And yes, he is Farmer C21. I don't know if he gets stuck a lot, though. It's a terrible joke. Uh, landscaping, trees. We're going to throw in a... So in the real home, there is a tree right about here. And I have no way of changing how the tree is going into the house. That is one thing about farm sim. Things clip a lot. So let's just put that right there. And then let's come out and let's put another smaller tree, much smaller tree. Actually, almost like this. Right there. And then let's go ahead and put some plants down. Let's see what plants I have available. Yeah, we put some plants in here. And I have an idea of how I can actually fix um, what I've done here. Because, again, I want to have... Um, you know, this area where these plants are in this uh, shrubbery uh, and, and landscaping. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come in, and I'm going to grab in my decorations, my fencing, and I'm going to use the ubiquitous 
uh, this guy right here. Like, when in doubt, just come in and outline your area with this. I think it usually turns out pretty well. And it also follows the uh, terrain properly, which is really, really nice. And then we can grab, uh, in landscaping painting, we can go with some gravel. You know, you can make your, your walkways there. There's a walkway here. Uh, there is a, looks like potentially a, like a grandparent's house out back. So I think I have an idea for that. Let's just put a pathway right here. Now, I would usually go with, okay, use mods and this wonderful uh, American garage with apartment, but the house that I'm seeing is not two stories. So I'm going to have to fib it a little bit. It is more of a garage. Let's see if I've got anything that will work. Let's go into Productions Generators and see if any of these will work. No, I just, I don't think any of those will work. Let's see if I have any garages. Oh, this will work. So this is, again, this is going to work. I think it's, it's... There's a carport that I need to add on, and then I think it will be... It'll be better. There is, if you have to imagine in your mind, there is a house here. Um, and we'll get the right color. And we will put that about right there. That did up itself a little. So let's grab landscaping. Let's flatten this area out. Let's just go ahead and bring... No, that doesn't work. Stover, what are you doing? Soften that out. Soften that out. Soften this out. Let's grab a... We are going to put a carport in here. And I think we'll do it like this. And we're just going to pretend... I mean, this is kind of accurate at the end of the day though only farmer c21 can tell us for sure okay there we go let's put landscaping go into painting into some gravel put a little gravel down in here I like it. Okay. There is also a small barn. So I go into buildings and I feel like this will work, but I need it to be white. Can I get white? I don't know. We're going to have to go that color. That's all we've got. Okay, we're going to put that about right there. Now I need to come back. I've gone over to my picture. And I need to add more trees. So some big, look like, I don't know, are those oaks? I don't know what those are. Those are really, really big. Um, can probably use elms, though. So landscaping. 
Let's grab some trees. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's put... Let's go ahead and use these big oaks. Mm, no, those don't work. Again, I'm looking back and forth on my picture for what I've got, and I feel like this a good old elm is going to be better. We've got one. Let me change sizes a little bit. We've got two. Let's go back up a size. Three. Four. And there are more back in here. But I think that's going to do it for right now. And then we have, it looks like a really cool, uh, almost like, let me come back over to my map. Going back over to Google Earth. And I want to see what I've got got here why isn't google earth doing anything there it is okay let me come over here and i know i'm talking and you're like what in the heck are you doing so over well i'm over in google earth i've dropped down the little guy and i'm looking to see what i've got here okay yeah we've got a bit of a play area so let me come in there is this could almost be a chicken Coop. I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is a play area. So let me grab some decorative fencing. See if I have anything that will match this fencing that they have. Yes, I do. Actually. Right here. And I am going to come off of right here. Come out about right there. And... About there. About there. And I need to delete just a little bit of that. I have no clue where the gate is, so we'll just, like... Demo a section of that right there. And then we need to put in decorations other. I need to find the play pen, the play set. Right there. Put that right there. Excellent. Okay, I'm jumping back over to Google. And I'm going to come down and we're going to work on this second house. Which is blue. Blue. And I want to get the trees in line. Okay. It's blue. Did I make it blue? No, of course not. <laughs> it's red. That's uh, okay. Landscaping, painting. Let's go ahead and put the driveway in. Why is it? What the heck happened to my... Did you see that? My paintbrush was all sorts of messed up. Let's go out of it and come back in. Landscaping, painting. To here, there we go. I don't know what it was. It's a farm something. Now we've got some similar trees here. Tree. 
tree, and I think we've got a tree right up by the house. <clears throat> Let me do a bit of a zoom on my Google Earth. Okay. We'll go ahead and save. Landscaping trees. There's a couple more trees back here. One about there, and there's kind of one here as well. I like that. And then we've got... We should put a... Go ahead and put a mailbox out front. And if we wanted to get super, super accurate here, we could grab... Can I change the color of these? Yes. So there is a bit of a... A ditch in front of the house. So to do that, you can come into your raisin lowering tool. And this, you just have to be very, very careful with. Go with a very soft brush. Um, and I'm just going to kind of pull it. Like this. I remember the first map I saw that actually was like a mod map that someone did this. It was Mich uh, the Michigan map where we finally had like proper ditches. I thought that was always so cool. And you can mod this to however the heck you want. We're just going to do that. And then there is... Um, a culvert pipe right here. Let's go ahead and... Add that. Those are in decorative items. I don't know if I went low enough on this, so that is one thing. Culvert pipe. Where are you, Mr. Culvert Pipe? I feel like I've passed it. There it is. It's way too big. Way, 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 way too big for this. So instead of putting that in there and making it look completely out of whack, we're just going to come in and we're going to put in a, just a little bit of kind of like that. And you could always, well, I guess I could if I was on no man's land. I could paint some water in there, but I don't have those brushes. We'll do that. And we'll do that, just like that. Again, not not perfect, but not, not terrible. Now, we do have a, on the real farm, we've got a sign, which I love. I think it's really, really cool. Now, I don't have a way to make the, you know, the actual sign, so we're going to go into decorative items, and we're going to find, I think I've got, um, I've got one that just says the farm, and I've got another one that is the Elk Mountain modding, uh... sign. Do I see it? Where are you? Could be okay used mods. No, that won't work. It will be great. Again, we haven't... Oh, there it is right there. 
here. We're going to put this up. Put that about right here. And then this does have a bit of a fence. Again, I'm, I'm kind of taking a little bit of creative license here on what is really on the farm. But I'm going to put a bit of a decorative base around it because I want to put some flowers. Just like that. And then landscaping plants. Uh, choose your preferred flowers. And there we go. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now we've got to look over here. So I got to come back out. I got to go back into my Google Maps. I got to do this uh, other view. So let me get out of my street view for that. And I, I've got to see what this corner looks like. Because I believe there is a fairly decent amount of trees. Yes, and some decorative items. So let's get back into the map editor. Over here, I need to place a tree. Kind of right here-ish. And then I need to do... There appears to be a, some decorations, like something right here. And I've got a wonderful item for it from... This will work great, right there. Let's put this in right there and then come into uh, decoration fences and it looks like it has a bit of a fence behind it kind of like that and then we've got a section of trees landscaping trees kind of here And for trees that are bunched up like this, I like to go into to my painting tool and just kind of rough the ground up a little bit. And you could even raise the ground a touch if you wanted to in here. So go into your landscaping, your sculpting, not too much, but just a little bit. And you can also go into your plants and you can grab some plants and just kind of scatter those around like that. These work also very well around houses uh, if you need to. And then over here, so we're going over to the third house and I think this is the first build that I've done uh, where I build your farm, where I've got three houses so we're going to put some trees here as well. There is a fairly decent amount of trees. Kind of like here. Yeah, and I'll probably do the same thing. Painting, just kind of rough up that ground just a touch. Maybe put some plants in. Kind of like that. Excellent. And then we do have... I guess I've already got it a little bit. I can come into my sculpting. We can grab our sculpting tool. I can make that a little bigger for this. And very, very, very low on the strength meter. And I can just bring in the ditch. 
kind of just turn that like that. Okay. We're almost done with the houses. And we checked my... I'm at 60... I have fail. Total fail. The farmer C21, though, we're not stopping. I'm not stopping. We're going to continue this build. I'm not stopping. Um, let me come back into my pictures that I already have up. Because we're going to get this correctly built for you in Farm Sim. Okay. I spent too much time on the houses, but that's okay. I need to put in some more trees. And for that, I need to go back into my Google Maps street view. And I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm clicking the button. I'm clicking the button. I'm clicking the button. There we go. Okay. So I'm right here. And I'm going to put some tree. Oh, yeah. Some really nice landscaping around this house. So let me come in. Uh, landscaping, painting. Let's come in and we'll add this. And this is just forest ground. You know, I'm not using dirt. I wish there was a way you could paint mulch. That would be kind of nice. It'd be a nice option, at least. Uh, but this is about as good as I can get for mulch. Okay, there's that. Now, there looks like... If I come into my trees... It looks like a birch tree, because I see the white. I think that is a birch. I'm going to put a birch in right there. And then an elm, because I use elms like 99% of the time. And just because we haven't used one yet, let's go ahead, let's grab a nice big oak. And we're going to do an oak out front. Kind of like that. And then there's this really nice area of some decoration out here, a little bit of landscaping with some shrubbery, some bushes. Same goes for up here. Some really nice uh, plants. So we'll do some painting. Throw some plants in here. And, and here you can use, you know, you can use these for like shrubbery as well. These work just fine. Excellent. Now there is another tree over here. It's a fairly small tree. Then there is a bush about right there. Okay, now I need to go back into my overhead view. I'm going to save while we're here. And I'm also going to check my records because, again, I do these uh, completely live. We're still recording. Everything is fine. Everyone is happy. I think everything is good. I think you've been seeing some of my... I'm going to fix that. You've been seeing some of my desktop in there, so we'll fix that. There we go. 
Okay. I think that house is done. Let's move on to the actual farm. I think the time has come. The time has come to work on the farm. So we've got barns, and everything looks to be kind of red barn pack type farms, or barns. And this is where, again, I don't have a ton of information about what is on the actual farm, so I'm going to be using just what is available in farm sim. So for this, I'm going to put a utility shed right in here. I'm going to try to go with everything red. Uh, so we'll put that right here. Uh, and then there does appear to be some trees. And there are also trees along the back of that house, but I've got, you know, I'm seeing this. Hold on. I need to demo that. Yes, buildings. I need to move that out just a little bit. I'm just a little too... I need to be more in line with right here. Because there is a small shed. And I might have to use like this. Right there. Let's go back into my landscaping, painting. into my plants. And there is painting here, a bit of a gravel drive or gravel pathway there. And there are also trees. So again, we'll come back into our trees. Maybe not that big. Maybe more like this. Okay, then across we have, and for this I've got to jump into my, go back over to my Google Earth view. Hitting the button, hitting the button. It looks like I've got, I've just got a, a barn, so I need to throw a barn here. Whoa, I'm all over the place. I'm out of control. Stover has gone out of control. This is what happens when you get some of these more, I guess, advanced builds. I'm going crazy. Uh, I want a red barn for this. Too big. Too big. Can I change the color of that? No, cannot. I almost feel like that is perfect. White roof. Red on the outside. That's sitting right there. 
and there are crops basically up to the driveway, but then there is, let's come into landscaping, painting. So this is gravel. This is a grass. Back over to my Google Earth. Okay. Oh, you know what? There's these big bunks right here, too. So, I believe... We're going to go into buildings... Excuse me, production... Uh, no, buildings, silos. I need, like, the biggest bunk you can get in Farm Sim. I don't know if I have any downloaded. Not big enough. They're, they're drive-through bunks, too, in this particular area. That is going to have to work. Just going to have to make this work. So we've got... So there's one... Here and there's one right next to it. And then I'm going to rotate, and there are more here. And I'm probably not going to get the exact number right. Oh, you know what I can do, though? So there's four. Let's put the four in. I can overlap. I can come back in and grab, I think, at least. Yeah, I can do this. So to get the width or the length right here, I can do that and I can do this like that and then there is a very large area and I don't know how I'm going to rep represent this whoops I just killed some of your crops and that thing that I said where it's very difficult to like replant yeah I messed that up messed that up big time that's okay we'll take some uh, a little bit of artistic license we'll come into painting and we'll just do this, because this is this does look like grass over here. So we might just do this. And this kind of comes like this. And then it spins up like so. There's a huge pile, I'm assuming, of silage right in here, which we're going to have to grab our uh, gravel. Do a little bit of gravel there on the side. Do some gravel over here. This is all going to be gravel. And this is all grass ish. Whoops. 
That's an easy mistake to fix, because you can just repaint gravel. And what I'm going to do to properly represent this huge pile that is here, I'm going to come into my decor landscaping, and I'm going to actually just increase... I'm going to build up a pile right here. Because I think you've got silage right here, and I'm going to make it bigger than it. It's going to be comically big for a moment. Comically big for just a moment. Okay. Now I'm going to paint it with that forest ground. And then I'm going to soften it. So we'll go back into sculpting. And we'll soften this up. And you've got some tires and whatnot on it. And we'll just soften that up a little bit right there. Just like that. Again, it's kind of comically big as it sits. Soften that up. Now we need to come into our plants. We need to get our grass uh, filled out over here. So in this particular area that I broke... Let's run a bead of grass down here, like a bead of caulk. Alrighty. Now, we've got to move on to more buildings. So let's get some more gravel put down. This is all animal area over here. And I've actually done some thinking on this. So I need to put a fairly large animal uh, cow uh, husbandry in. And I'm going to use... So we're gonna we're gonna double up. I think we're gonna have to. I had this as an option. Problem is I cannot change the color. So I'm going to come into uh, what is the expandable pastures ready option. And I know there's not the same amount of doors as yours, but it does allow me to change the color. So we can go to a red. And I'm able to actually get right up here. What I'm going to have to do, though, is... Because it's not long enough. I, I need it to be about this long. Because you got a huge farm. <laughs> uh, I might have to cheat a little bit. Might have to cheat just a little bit. So we're going to drop that in there like that. A couple of things we could do. If I really wanted to double it up, I could turn this around. And you could kind of get by with this in the game if you wanted to. You'd have to get really, really specific on the doors matching up. Um, so you'd have to weigh the pros and cons of that. For this, I'm just, I'm going to do it. So there we go.
And it did cut into the big, massive silage uh, pile, so we'll come back into our landscaping. We'll soften this up. And it does appear, so we'll go into painting. We've got, for the most part, gravel or dirt, dirt stone uh, in here. And then over here, we start to pick up a little bit of grass back. So let's maybe run a bead of grass there. And then it just it gets a little bit bigger. Kind of spins around like this. And that is a path, so we can go ahead and draw that path. With our gravel. We can put all our gravel out here. Oh, actually, you know what? Well, we might have to for this. It's not the way it is in the real farm. This is continues to be grass for the most part, but because we've got so many doors, we're going to do this. We're going to square this off like it is in real life. Because out here is where we got to put that massive, massive muck pool. And we're going to square this off. And these are some of those really, sm just kind of some details where, again, it might not be 100% representative of what the real farm is. But, again, we're dealing with the constraints of the game. Uh, and the mods that are available, the decorative items that are available. And out here I might go with a slightly different grass, so I might go with more of that meadow grass. I mean, that looks terrible there for a moment, so just bear with me. We're going to put the grass in first. And I think once the grass is in, I'll be able to come back with the paintbrush on the gravel. And it will look less jaggedy. We're dealing with those terrain angles of the map. Um, you know, when you're painting on Farm Sim, you, you're not... You don't have... 100% or like 360 degrees of motion. You've got angles you have to work with. And because of that, you get those jagged edges sometimes. Come in here. Like that. Now you can come back into your, your painting uh, brush. And again, if you want to fix some of these... 
um, jagged edges you can. You can kind of round that off. You're not, you're never going to be, I think, 100% accurate on it. But you can just, just kind of clean it up a little bit. Get a little less noticeable. Okay, how are we doing? I feel like I need to put some. I need to come into dirt, and I need to kind of roughen up some of this area. You know, it's not perfectly manicured grass like was out there in front of the houses. Just roughen this up a little bit. And, you know, there's piles of things. We can put some piles of trash and rubbish, you know, from things that you've been working on project-wise. We could do kind of that. Put some things out here. I noticed there were, you know, a lot of tires to cover up the silage bins. Um, we could come in, maybe put like this here. Really, this is completely up to you what you decorate the farm with um, once all is said and done. Um, let's see here. Oh, you know what we could do? I think I do have... If I go into building silos, I do have... I don't have tires that I can put... Um like in piles, but I can do this. Run some of these along the side here, and I can do the same over here. This is actually a, like, a silo itself, but I'm just using it uh, for the tires that are there. And then let's grab, uh, in decorative, excuse me, landscaping, let's grab some plants and let's just sprinkle in, you know, not a ton. Maybe that's too many. Just a little bit of, just, just a little bit, just a little bit of some, some growth in certain areas. of some brush, um, some weeds. Uh, let's see if we've got any other type of grass. Yeah, you could do this with some grass, too. You can create some different, um, you know, look to grass by just sprinkling in different textures of grass on top of existing grass. And just run that down there like that. And, you, you know, you can do the same in here. And, yeah, I mean, we kind of get it out in that field a little bit. That's okay. You might have driven over that area and killed some of that... some of that crop. Maybe not that much over. Again, you're just trying to make it so that it's got a little bit of texture to to the area. And you see this a lot with map makers. Um, I noticed it a lot in Loma, Montana. It's one of the new maps that's out. Um, you know, just foliage all over the place. Okay, now we've got to focus right up here, and I've thought long and hard on this. Uh, so we do need to get the massive, 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 massive 
slurry pit. And I also need to go into my painting. And I have got to... Right about where that little building juts out. I've got to do this. Because this is all grass to about there. And then this runs up. To about here. There is a road. Kind of does this. And then it spins around and comes back down like that. And this is going to be a very, very large slurry pond. And to do this, I am going to, fortunately, it is all flat. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my plants. I'm going to grab my grass. And I'm going to put my grass down first. I don't want to have to come back in after the fact. Um, and sprinkle in grass. I want to just go ahead and throw grass down now. Just like that. Uh, and I'm going to also... So there's grass over here, painting grass. This... This kind of does this. Kind of like that. Now let me grab my grass. Right there. Now, remember this road we were working on over here? Yes, where it all kind of comes together. So grass spins around here. I'll repaint that area. And there is a barn here. I cannot, for the life of me, find a barn, I think, that would fit well in here. The only one that comes close to it in the game that I know is this cow barn. Um, cannot remember who the exact modder is. But I'm going to use it, and I'm going to modify it a little bit. So I'm going to stick this about right here. And then I'm going to stick another barn on the end of it. I almost put a cow barn right there. I got very, very lucky right there. Very, very, very lucky that that didn't actually take, didn't take. That would have been frustrating, to say the least. I am looking for something like this that I can insert right here, maybe at the edge. And, and, and again, it doesn't work well with this model. You'd have to 
the real farm, this is completely butted up. This is actually all one building, kind of like this. In game, I'm going to have to come off a little bit about right here. Because I need to leave enough room for a pathway. Because there is a, a slurry manure point right here. Just gonna kind of wing that around like that. And I'm going to do that. There we go. And I will probably also, again, trying to be cognizant of keeping the um, keeping the crop intact. So, again, to use this in game, you'd probably want to come out and make a slightly larger area right here so that you could still use this barn. Come into our grass, make a little turn right here. Spin that up. Okay, now we've got another building. So we've got another building, which is likely an animal building. And I think this is what I'm going to use. And this is a... Um, the American Cow Barn. I'm going to see if I can match the red. Mm, I'm going to have to go with bright red. I think, is it bright? Yeah, it's bright red. I'm going to put this right here. This is kind of out a little bit on the actual farm. About right there. And there is also a silo, I believe, probably for manure about right there. Okay, now we got to tie all this in together. So landscaping, painting. Let's get our gravel. And this gets to be kind of a back and forth between gravel and dirt. So I might grab some dirt and do some dirt painting in here a little bit but I am going to always follow it up because again it's not um you know, there's the the crop doesn't butt right up on the buildings, so I am gonna come in and put some grass back here. And then we'll grab our meadow grass.
And I already see my air. I see my air. I'm gonna come in. I have to tighten this up a little bit. Just a touch. Okay, now, while... So, let's come back over to this slurry pit. Uh, let's come into landscaping sculpting. And I'm going to lower... This is a perfectly, like, rectangular slurry pit. So I'm just going to dig down a little bit. And then I'm going to go to my leveling tool. And I'm just going to find the surface that I want to level it to. Probably a little deep, but that's okay. does look like, so we can go into painting, we can do animal mud on the very bottom. It's going to give us the most realistic look. Uh, and then I'm going to paint, it looks like there might be gravel on the outer edge. Like that, and if you want to clean this up, you can. You will see it, so as you, if you make, you know, this is, this is an area where you do want to be really precise, because when I put the water plane in, you will see imperfections. So the, uh, the closer you can make this to being perfect, the better. Okay, and then decorations, other, we've got to find a water plane that's going to match... Um, a, a slurry pool. And I think I've got something in here that will work. Yeah, this will work just fine. It's a little bigger than the space that we have available, which is perfect. You can see if I come up, you can see the edges. Put that about right there. And we now need to focus on this road that I completely messed up over here. So coming off the back side here, I need to make that bigger and... You know, I realistically... This is going to be off a little bit, I know. Oh, 
bring this down to this entryway. Yes, I know it's up high, don't worry. That's, again, one of the downfalls of butting those up. Again, we butted the buildings up together to make them longer. So, you wouldn't probably do that. You would just put one there, but we're trying to recreate his farm. So, I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some just around the edge. Probably do the same over here. Like that? Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there way over on my time. I know. Um... We're getting more and more detailed maps to build, which is kind of cool. So we've got a road that I'm going to split off right here. And this is going to come up. Follow right along the edge of this field. Right there. Now, I need to put some grass around this path because the field kind of stops right here. My dog barking, if you can hear her. Someone maybe at the door, who knows, upstairs. The ferocious golden retriever. Well, I'm thinking about it, we're going to save. Because we haven't saved in a while.
And it pains me not to have all of my uh, paintable uh, layers. Really, really does. And I, I realize that looks terrible. We're going to have to go back in and redo the terrain angle. I don't know if this is a multi-terrain angle map. I think it is. But the terrain angle on these... As I'm painting, I'm not doing well. Clearly not doing well. Let's get rid of that little piece of corn. But that's okay, because again, we'll go back in and repaint uh, the, the trail once I put grass down. So let's start from the left. We'll go to the right. Everywhere there needs to be grass. That is nicely tailored grass over there. We need to keep that. Maybe start about right here. Bring this down. Again, I'm going to go back in with a paintbrush and gravel and repaint this path. All right, I think the grass is down. So let's go back into uh, the gravel. I don't know why I said that so dramatically. And let's repaint this so that it's the proper width. Doesn't look like the utter crap that I made it.
Oh, I want to put... Okay. Now, what we do need to still do, we need to grab some dirt. We need to come in to certain areas and just kind of dirty up some of the area. And the way you can um, do this, or you can make gravel look like it has uh, different shades to it or different you know, bold spots, whatever. We used actual gravel. We can come back in with concrete. Again, we're limited on this particular map to how much or how many paintable textures are available. So we're just doing this. We're putting some dirt in here, dirtying the area up, just making it look more realistic. And this is where we talk. You could come in with different types of, uh, you know, you could put some different uh, you know, shrubbery down if you wanted to. I think this particular area on the real farm actually has some, this might actually be heavily wooded back here. Put a bunch of trees in. Now, back to the gravel. So, w the way we can add a little bit of contrast to it is, you can see we've got gravel there. But if we put um, concrete on top of it and we do what we were doing with the gravel, with the concrete, it kind of does the same thing. Kind of. It's not perfect. Again, ideally we would have all those other variations of, of gravel, gravel dust, gravel pathways. Um, I just don't have them. So again, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna get some of these you know, really sharp lines. We're gonna make them less sharp. You can come into dirt. You can find certain areas you know, that might need a little bit of, of roughening up. We're gonna look at the real map and there's, you know, this is kind of a dirt area over here. Looks like animals might move in through here. We can get some animal mud, put a little bit of animal mud around. Um, in the silage areas, you know, where we've got the bunks, you can come in with some of this. This is that forest ground just to get some of that spillage, that overflow. And then you can also grab, again, your plants. Your plants, I think, are you know really important to just sprinkle around in certain areas. Not all over, not everywhere, but just in certain locations. And that's really nicely manicured grass right out here. 
So I don't want to do too much to mess that up. Okay. And there you have it. We went way, way over, I think, a lot of time limit of 60 minutes. But I hope Farmer C21, we got the farm as best as we could uh, for the short amount of time that we have together. And I want to thank everyone once again for submitting pictures of your farm. I really, really do enjoy doing this um, and would love to continue. If you'd like to submit pictures of your farm, a story about your farm, be it a family farm, a friend, a relative, a farm you drive by, let me know. Email me at withthestovers at gmail.com. I'll throw your information in the hat. We'll pull it out each week. We'll do one of these once a week. Again, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, but they're fun. So we're going to we're going to shoot for one a week of I Build Your Farm. So from Lake Mills, Wisconsin, this is Farmer C21's Family Farm, a huge dairy farm producing milk for everyone to enjoy. And I hope to see you right here next time on the farm with the Stovers.